Hello, what's up? So for this, this video, we're going to react to the official trailer for How to Blow Up a Pipeline, directed by Daniel Gold uh, Haber. Or Haber. Um, Neon just released this trailer like seven, eight minutes ago. So um, I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this for a few weeks now. Let's just go for it. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Boom Talk. Today, teaching myself to make a homemade blasting cap. And if this works, it'll be step one in making our own improvised explosive. Might be headed to Texas for the winter. What's in Texas? This project. What kind of project? Try to stop the pipeline from being built on my property. Poisons the air. Water. Damn, this place is sick. You guys cooking meth in here? I'm ready to start working. We have to show how vulnerable the oil industry is by hitting something big. Michael, what do you think the odds are we blow ourselves up? I don't really care. Blow the pipe at the hilltop. Keep the oil from leaking. You're not actually thinking. I'm not thinking about it. I'm doing it. What if y'all do structural damage? Structural damage is kind of the point. This is destruction of federal property. Terrorism. American Empire calls us terrorists, and we're doing something right. Let those who profit from mass death know their properties will be trashed. Three, two, one. They will defame us and claim this was violence or vandalism. But this was justified. This was an act of self-defense. Okay, I'm sold. I'm really sold, sold, sold. All right, so first of all, Daniel Goldhaber. Um, he, he, I think his feature, yeah, his feature film debut is Cam, starring Madeline Brewer. That's a, that's a great um, techno thriller, psychological horror kind of thing. And in this one, this is like a heist uh, film from him. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, is this based on... I th I'm. It's a non. It's based from a non-fiction book. All right. So, this is like, for a lack of a better word, on fire. Like this trailer suggests a film that is angry, a film that is so pumped up in disrupting the status quo. And I think the trailer captures that, and that is also in, in keeping with the spirit of the main characters that I feel. I'm looking at the cast of characters that we have here. Um, I would say that the ones that I know are Lucas Gage, for example, from The White Lotus. Um, Sasha Lane from American Honey, a great film by um, uh, Andrea Arnold. Uh, is the only They're the only ones that I recognize from this trailer so far. Um, so what I would say is that this is going to be released by Neon on... April 7. April 7. That's correct. April 7. Uh, I would say that in I just observed in theaters, oh, by the way, I just observed that uh, I tweeted this a few days ago that for some reason from 2019, 20, and 22, uh, 2019, 21, and 22, like my number one films of the year so far were from Neon, Parasite, a flea, and this year all the beauty in the bloodshed. Um, I don't know. It's not in. It's not uh intentional. That I'm I'm a neon boy and I love it, but I don't know. Those are very weird coincidence because you know a lot of people say like I'm like other people like make a twenty four for example their personality and that's fine. Um, I just didn't notice. Like I'm becoming a neon boy and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Um, so uh, <laughs> I have nothing else to say that 
I am so excited and I'm glad they're releasing this early in the year April 7. Um, I don't know. I'm really hoping this gets eyeballs. That this becomes this major film th- for the rest of the year that people would consider as like, wow, that's a great film. Hopefully, I hope this is a great film. Uh, and this premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. But um, yeah, I am excited. So again, how to blow up a pipeline April 7 in theaters. So if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.